as YouTube's number one most woke empty house business billionaire advice guy. And some guy said, hey, you're not a billionaire in my last video. Um, yeah, I'm trying to downplay it. All right, I'm a trillionaire. I have so much money that I'm beyond material possessions. And the reason why I've been able to obtain so much wokeness and money in my life is first off, my IQ is significantly higher than yours. Don't, let's just get that out of the way. But the other reason why I've been able to do that is I've developed a monk-like discipline. I don't have to eat for weeks on end. And frankly, I can see through walls on any given Tuesday if I'm really in the zone. And I wanna help you achieve that too, because frankly, while you'll never be as smart as me, you could reach some level of discipline that would stop you from being slightly above a chimpanzee in terms of productivity. And so that's what I'm going <laughs> to do. I love those intros because if you actually go and read the comments, there's only there, there's a handful of people who just watch the intro and then they get really, really, really mad. And that's a shame because uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you something I think saved my life. And if you don't have five minutes to watch this or you're one of the people that only watches the first 30 seconds of the video, I feel bad for you because this almost destroyed my business. This almost destroyed my uh, biggest joy in life. And without what I'm going to share with you in this video, Ew, I don't, I don't, I don't think it would work. Also, I'm trying something new on this video. Look, throughout all my videos going forward, there's going to be what I like to call the Easter egg email. And this is going to be shown in each video using a bunch of clues. It could be a text that's just drawn on the mirror or the windows below me. It could be a combination of images that you see. It could be hidden in description. It's going to be sitting somewhere in the video. It could be arrangement of pens in a certain way to format a word. You're going to have to look for it. It could be my browser. And it's going to form a word, or it's going to be a word, or it's going to be a combination of words that the images add up to at a Gmail address. It's going to be at gmail.com. So it's going to be word at gmail.com always. And here's what's going to happen. If you email this Gmail, I'm going to send you $2,000 worth of courses that I've created in the past. You're going to get a lot of free stuff. But here's the cool thing. The first person to figure this out five times across my next videos or five times in total, I'm going to give you a thousand bucks just straight to your PayPal address. And I'll let you know what it is. And if anybody is getting it two or three times, I'm gonna put a leaderboard up in the videos. I'm gonna to try to do something like that. This is still kind of unformulated, but this is how it's gonna work. I'm also gonna put the rules in the description of the video, but here's basically how it's work. I'm not gonna mislead you. I'm not gonna try and do things that mess you up or give you the wrong thing. And the words will be very clear. It's not gonna be left up to random and possible guest combinations. So if you see images or words in a certain order, they'll always be in that order. May the odds ever be in your favor. So let's begin. In this video, I wanna talk about doing a dopamine detox because this has helped me more in 2020 than anything else. And I wanna explain why and how I kind of discovered this and why it, it hit me so hard recently. So when I first went super minimalistic, I thought I was gonna have increased levels of focus and it's actually the inverse. See what happened because there was so little to focus on, the negative things that are fueled by dopamine that were in my, let's say apartment, not let's say in my apartment, got way more focused than they would uh, when I was living in a giant house. Okay, when I had all these things and all this other stuff going on, it was a little bit harder for me to fall into uh, extreme dopamine addiction. And so because I only own a desk and a computer, a lot of my time would be spent on my computer because I'd only have my phone. My phone was becoming a bigger and bigger grip on my life. And I also was picking up a lot of video games and I'm not playing video games right now. I do plan to play Smash in the future, but not right now. And what would happen is because there was so little for me to focus on, my brain got obsessed with these dopamine triggers. And I'm going to sum this up very, very quickly because it's super explained in this video right here. And I've also linked below this a video. And I've also linked to a video below this video that has about a 20 minute explanation of the experiments that prove this and all the things that show basically your brain is capped and that dopamine works a lot like drinking alcohol or doing drugs. Let me explain. So dopamine is what motivates you to do things. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning and makes you go, I want to do this. I'm excited to do this. It's what makes you excited. And how dopamine works is that it works just like alcohol. If you only are getting little hits of it, little hits will do it for you. If you're only drinking sparingly, taking a shot's gonna get you drunk. If you're drinking every night, if you're overloading yourself with alcohol, you're going to need a lot of shots to get drunk. Dopamine's the same exact way. And so there was this experiment with rats where they basically connected an electrode, and I'm gonna use made up scientific words in this, but you just look at the general point of what I'm trying to say. They connected an electrode to its dopamine center, and every time the rat pressed this button in its cage, it would hit the dopamine center, it would give them a hit of dopamine. 
And so the rat started getting really motivated to hit this button because your brain looks at dopamine like a one and a zero. It doesn't think about what's going on. It doesn't look at the context of it because the context is controlled by your thoughts and what you're doing. And so it's going to look at the dopamine response and look at it as a one and zero without context. That's why your brain will always tell you, eat cake, eat cake, eat cake, when in context, it's the worst possible thing for you because your brain doesn't have context. And so, of course, the rat's brain, because it has no context, is going to say, keep hitting the button, keep hitting the button, and keep performing this action because this is giving you the positive and not a pain. And the crazy thing is, when the positive becomes too strong and too highly weighed, it will actually make you overcome pain to get the positive. And so that's very dangerous because of this, and you see this all the time in humans. So what would happen is the rat would spend all day smashing this button. He'd be giving himself ratgasms, like I discussed in this video right here that really explains how dopamine works in your head and why this is really important. I want to explain the strategy to fix this in this video, which will be talked about here in a second. But basically the rat stopped eating, it stopped doing anything beneficial in its life and just pressed this button. I noticed this was happening to me. I noticed I was getting in ratgasm mode and all the things that used to be really beneficial to me that drove me wild, gave me the ultimate high, they were becoming very uninteresting to me particularly working on my business, particularly reading every single day, particularly watching CEO interviews. I, w I went from reading 120, 130 books a year to the beginning of this year only reading one or two. Bizarre. And so the other part of the story that you have to also listen to is that what they then started doing is they would put food in one corner and then they would put a electrical mat in the cage between the rat and the button. What the rat would do is if they switch this around, if they put food on the other side of the electrical pad, the rat would not cross it to get food. In fact, the rat had very little motivation to get food even if it was close by to it because there was a lot of pain involved. But if they put the button on the other side of the electrical mat and food over here, the rat wouldn't even go for food. It wouldn't even eat. If you put food in the rat's mouth, of course it would eat it because there's no effort, because there's no pain to getting to it. But the rat would get off its ass and walk across this electrical mat, shocking itself, putting itself through massive pain to hit this button. And so where do we see that happening in human beings? World of Warcraft's a perfect example. People keep playing and playing and playing and playing, even though it's causing them massive pain and it's destroying their life. Drugs are a very basic example, but they're so extreme that you almost don't look at them. You look at drugs and say, well, of course the person's addicted to drugs, but that's what's happening there. They're crossing that electrical mat to get that high and avoiding all the beneficial things like eating. Uh, in this example, eating represents working, focusing on your business, doing things that give you fulfillment. And the simple truth of this experiment shows that the things that are actually really beneficial to you don't give you the dopamine detox that a system designed, a <clears throat> piece of technology designed to give you a hit of dopamine will. Because when I went super minimalistic, I became that rat and I was locked in my cage with only the dopamine button. I have a computer, my cell phone, and I have access to video games, and frankly, a ton of downtime since I have no other real responsibilities. I went from having a home, a lifestyle that was pretty hard to maintain, to just being completely free from, I, I could only work 12 hours a day, and then I'm like, what am I gonna do with my time? And so, a lot of that time was spent, you know, checking Facebook, oh, I'll just go check Instagram again, and I can go scroll through stuff, and so, what I know is happening is my brain started going and focusing on the dopamine triggers. I started really focusing on video games because I have so much extra time. Like, why not put in a hobby right here? Started really going and eating, maybe eating some bad foods every now and then because, like, you know, I got all this time. I got to do something with it. I'd even watch movies for long periods of time, and then I'd also get locked into going and scrolling through Facebook, and then I'd wake up, and I wouldn't be motivated to work on my business. I wouldn't be motivated to read all the books I do. I wouldn't be motivated to uh, restrict myself to watching CEO interviews, and no matter how much willpower I tried to crack up, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work for me. And I'm so this is weird. Did I just change the person? Is, is what's important to me suddenly falling off? I couldn't piece it together because the way I was viewing um, my life in general was that, hey, you know, things don't affect other things. You can play this video game. You can do this thing. Uh, you can check Facebook, and it's not going to affect how you do other things. And anything is further than the truth. All those devices I described, they're completely designed to overwhelm your brain with dopamine. And so my dopamine receptors were so overblown at this point that, that they were needing severe hits to feel good. I was getting to the point where I even wanted to start partying again. I wanted to start going, I'm like, well, life is boring. Let's go out and let's drink and party. 
And I didn't know why. And then I stumbled upon the video that's linked below this video. But again, wait, because you're going to see the ultimate way to execute this in this video. And you might actually see that email Easter egg. Who knows? Maybe it's been shown yet. I don't know. All right. So I watched this video and then I really started to understand how dopamine works. And I was like, this is why I'm not motivated to do things anymore. And so I did a hard dopamine detox, not the hardest version of it, but a pretty hard dopamine detox. Within one day, I was waking up a little bit earlier, motivated to work. Within two days, I'm feeling more motivated to work. Three days in, I'm working out again. I'm starting to watch CEO interviews. I'm not doing anything negative. I'm actually motivated to watch the CEO interviews. I'm taking books of, I'm taking pages and pages of notes. And about five days in, I'd return to my normal self where I get a huge high working on my business in the morning. I'm so pumped, I can barely sleep. I'm excited to work on it. And what happened is my brain Stop being so overwhelmed, they got a chance to relax, and now the smaller hits of dopamine give me that high again. And I'm super motivated. And what you have to realize is that dopamine is not an indicator of what's gonna bring you satisfaction in your life. It's a one and a zero without context. And so it's very easy for your brain to tell you and keep making you do things that don't make you happy, that don't bring you fulfillment in your life, that are going to make you sad and actively make you sad. A lot of people that are addicted to World of Warcraft are not feeling fulfilled and happy with their life. A lot of people that are addicted to food, a lot of people that are constant on Instagram, uh, people on Facebook, it's driven suicide rates to the roof. It is not something that's making you happy. Dopamine is an extremely poor predictor of what will make you happy. And so what you wanna do is you wanna rig your brain to receive dopamine and love the dopamine from the things that actually make you happy and fulfilled, that make you pumped. And really I made a video about why I quit doing YouTube. And I think one of the reasons why I quit doing YouTube is my dopamine receptors were completely messed up. I just had no motivation even after I got done with work to go and, and do YouTube. So how do you do this? How do you do this? I really wanted to lay out the benefits to you so you just understand this. Well, first you need to buy my $2,000 course on dopamine detox. Uh, it's, it's very woke course. It will teach you how to be, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You don't, you don't need to go buy some course or do some self-help shit. Here's what you do. Take your phone. Delete all the social media apps on it, especially the only reason I have access to Facebook on my phone is because I need to check people's mobile ads at Hyros. I need to sometimes check that. I do that very rarely now, so I have that thing so tucked away in folders and files, it's, it's extremely difficult to get at. If you do not have a business, 100% requires you to be on social media. For example, we handle all customer support via Facebook Messenger uh, at Hyros because it's very, very good way to communicate with customers on their end, and we have to check their ads on Facebook. If it wasn't for that, I'd delete my Facebook altogether. Most of your businesses, you're not an influencer, you don't need to be on Facebook. Delete all your social media, or at least make it inaccessible to you for ever. Because here's the thing about dopamine detoxes. As soon as you fall back into those ways where you start overloading your brain again, you're going to end up right back where you were before. Okay, I've done this before in my life, never to extent and with such awareness that I have right now, but you're gonna end up right back where you were before. What you have to do is if you have your phone right now or you keep feeling that urge to pick up your phone, that is dopamine 101. That is literally you watching yourself in your brain saying, press the button, press the rat button, press the rat button. That's exactly what's happening right there. You must break that connection in your brain. It has to be broken. If you are still feeling that consistently, your brain is still addicted. That's the number one sign you're still addicted to dopamine. Stop your phone, stop using it. Put it on airplane mode, don't use it for a week. The only reason that I also have a phone is for Uber and very specific apps, okay? You don't need to have access to your phone to use those apps efficiently. One of the best times I felt best in my life is when I actually smashed my phone. I have to use it to check ads right now because let's face it, people are not going to do this. People are gonna keep using their, their phones on the internet. But my phone is on airplane mode in a drawer in my kitchen and I don't use it. And even when I feel the, the urge to use it, I don't use it because I know it's gonna start resetting my brain and rebuilding it. It is literally a piece of technology designed just like that rat button to hit the electrode in your brain and give you a dopamine hit. It is literally designed for that. Facebook, Instagram, they split test everything and the best ways to give you dopamine and it, it is very, very, very nasty. When you see people smoking cigarettes and you look down on them and say, oh, that person's addicted to cigarettes, why are they doing, why are they smoking cigarettes? They get a dopamine hit because the brain tells them, hey, this is the one, do this, even though it's gonna give you lung cancer. Same exact thing with social media. Next, you need to cut out and, and not even tolerate the things in your life to give you dopamine hits that are strong. I'm talking video games. Now, I love playing Super Smash Bros. It's one of my favorite things to do. 
And I mean love. I even have custom modded controllers to play the game with shortened button presses and the springs removed in the side so you can shield faster. I don't take this casually. But if I play Super Smash Bros. a lot, my brain completely shifts and, optimize for super, and optimizes itself for Super Smash Bros. Okay, I'm reading frame data, I'm watching, instead of watching CEO interviews, I'm watching matches from people that play my character and figuring out that. I can't have that, I can't have that in my life. I can play it on weekends, maybe, but if I'm in a, if I'm in a hard work period, no, not at all. Television, video games, it all has to go. Anything that is not related to productivity has to go. I swear to you, it's going to get easier over time. Because what's going to happen when you cut this stuff out, you're going to be so bored and you're going to be in such pain and you're not going to instantly become a productive person right away. You're not. The first two days, you're not going to like it. You're going to want to go back to your habits. You're still going to have those cravings. About day three, day four, when you've cut out all this stuff, that's when you start enjoying things that are actually fulfilling again. That's when you start enjoying meditating. That's when you start enjoying uh, focusing on your health. That's when you start enjoying working out again. That's when you start enjoying working on your business and doing things that help you succeed in that area because your brain starts looking for new ways to get dopamine. And so it's going to default to those things. You have to understand that. You have to understand that you will not become productive right away. And so right now in your life, if, you, if it pains you to do something productive, you know you want to do it. You know you want to pick up this hobby, but your brain you just don't have the willpower to do it. This is 100% why. Now, the other thing I suggest that I did over a weekend um, that I kind of already naturally do in my life is you need to do a hard dopamine detox. My diet consists of oatmeal, spinach, and some other uh, vegetables, lean chicken, and very good fats for me, like fish oil and olive oil. And this gives me a really, really, really clean uh, mental focus and it gives me a lot of energy it also allows me to build muscle it's just a diet it works super well for me one diet doesn't work well for everybody but the point of this is my diet doesn't have anything that really triggers dopamine it's very low dopamine diet so i get almost no dopamine release from my diet um or not an extreme dopamine release i actually really enjoy my diet i like eating it now um but that's one other thing and what you can do on your hard dopamine is you can either fast or you can just completely clear everything out of your diet. And you need to look at everything that you're doing in your life. Maybe it's drinking, maybe it's smoking, maybe it's something. You need to look at everything in your life that triggers dopamine and just get it out of there for at least a day to do a hard reset. And then after you've done the hard reset, avoid the things that are designed to release dopamine. I'm talking social media, your phone, video games, browsing around the internet. What I actually do is on my daily notebook now, I have rules for things I'm not going to allow myself to do. You're not going to go and be checking this. You don't do this. You don't use your phone. You don't do anything. You don't get to break these rules. Okay, you don't get to break these rules. And I'm gonna tell you, the first few days, it's really hard not to break them. Um, and even I'll, I'll fail, I'll cave in. That's how strong dopamine is. But after the first few days, I slowly start improving. And I kind of start tracking how many times I fail. And over time, by reducing these things, you see your brain literally start to rewire how it works and it becomes easier to avoid these things. And it's, it's amazing because I'm fucking pumped to wake up and work on my business. I'm fucking pumped to watch these CEO interviews. I'm pumped to network with other CEOs. It's, it's actually very, very cool. And I think it saved my business and my life to a certain extent because it definitely wasn't heading in the trajectory of motivation um, and I definitely wasn't the version of myself that I want to be. If you're a guy as well, interacting with women or looking at women online falls into this category. I'm not going to get into the, the, the genre of self-help that you guys are always asking questions about. No fap. I think it's weird. You shouldn't be looking to me for your personal woohoo habits. But again, that's a dopamine trigger. Get it out of there. And then the main... <coughs> And the main thing is don't fall back into it. You can do things like watch TV. You can do things like play video games sparingly. But the more you do it, the less motivation you're going to have for the things you love and the things that actually give you fulfillment. And then you're going to get dragged in there and your brain will rewire itself all over again because it's going to say, well, this dopamine is so much better. And it's going to start angling your brain to go this way. And again, where your brain sends you based on dopamine, it has no context to what actually makes you happy. So that's my two cents on that. If you have questions, hit me up below. And that's the video for today. Again, like 50% of you guys who watch this channel are not subscribed. So just go below and hit that subscribe button because I run specific ads, not a ton of them. You're not gonna be getting hit with like crazy in your face ads. But every single day I spend a handful of bucks advertising to people that are subscribed and have also liked a video on my channel. You can set a filter for that in ads. If you're on that list, I'm going to be running ads that basically give away stuff to you, okay? Courses, prizes, special access to things that other people won't see.
It's a pretty cool way to get you subscribed, I know. But you should go and do that because you'll see that stuff. On top of that, on the weekends, I do live streams where I just go behind my business, I go behind my ad accounts, I share everything I'm doing business strategy-wise. Again, you're not gonna get notified when those happen if you're not subscribed to this channel. So like this video, subscribe to this channel. So like this video, subscribe to this channel so that you fall into that category. That's it, that's it. I've released a lot of dopamine making this video for you, so 